Myrtle Rust is here forever. We've all heard about it. We're basically watching a species vanish. Myrtle rust is a fungal disease that kills plants from the myrtle whanau, including some of Aotearoa's most famous, like Pohutukawa and Manuka. To try and put a picture in people's heads, I tell them it's like smoke, but you can see smoke, so this stuff is even finer than smoke, and so it blows in the wind, it'll land on the leaf surface, and if that leaf surface is moist, and if the temperature is above 15 degrees, that's enough for the rust to start. It'll infect the leaf and then spread through the plant. In Te Tairawhiti, myrtle rust has infected an entire species. The story of Ramarama. In three years, all the Ramarama on the east coast is gone. Graham Atkins has been following the infection of Ramarama since myrtle rust was first spotted on the east coast. This is in the southern end of the Raukumara in the Motu district. This is the last remaining bit of Ramarama on the east coast. What's in this little 30 hectare reserve, so it might be a couple of hundred plants. Ramarama is e easy to identify. The leaf surface looks like it's got these bubbles on. You can run your fingers across there and you can feel them. There's not many other natives that have got anything that looks similar, so Ramarama. Rama. Beautiful, healthy Ramarama. Rama. But, you know, if you ask me what I consider it safe, I don't think so. People are, are spreaders of myrtle rust as well, not just the wind by coming from places that are, you know, already infected to a place like this. What does it mean when the ramaram is gone? That means because it fruits during the winter, those, those manu and the bats and stuff that rely on that food source at that time of the year, there'll be a gap. To lose, you know, a guaranteed food source at that time of the year, it's got to be bad. So you're not going to get as, as many birds as you would making it through the winter because starve. My personal experience or observations is that we are living in climate change times, so a warmer world. I don't think there'll be any refugia. We might get, you know, five, ten years before Myrtle Rust you know, start showing up in a lot more places. We came over here to um, put the drone up to get footage of, for example, of a healthy adult Ramarama. So we managed to get the drone up and it's knocked off a couple of the leaves from what I suspected was myrtle rust. And yeah, unfortunately, knowing how fast um, we lost our population at home. So inside three years, hundreds of thousands of Ramarama have vanished. And so I'll say the same thing is going to happen with this population, our last healthy East Coast Ramarama. Really, really sad. This little valley, you know, used to have hundreds of thousands of ramarama in, if you counted all the, the, the seedling carpets as well. Hundreds of thousands across this landscape. And how quickly they all became infected and how quickly they all, all vanished. 
know, it was the seedlings that took the first hit, and most of them have gone. Um, and then that was the first year, and so by year three, it's the adults that are going. But no, not a good picture for Ramarama um, on the east coast. Here we have one of our, the Manuka cultivars that we um, got our hands on. The experiment was to test our local strains of Manuka's um, susceptibility to myrtle rust. And so we planted them in amongst um, the Ramarama. So here we see Ramarama right in, infected with myrtle rust right next to the Manuka. They'll let us know pretty quick if they are um, got resistance to myrtle rust or, or else if we got something to worry about. Ramarama seedlings, and even at that size, they've got myrtle rust on them. Yeah, so these are the adult Ramarama, and here's a perfect example of what, how they kill. So um, this tree's got new growth on it, but already the new growth is infected. So it's that reinfection, 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 the tree gives up. These are mature adult Ramarama, all completely wiped out. And if we look up, you can see um, the light streaming in, and that's because the, the canopy's broken down because the, the Ramarama is dead. And, you know, extinctions, most people think, play out over long periods of time, but this has happened inside three years. So I first found myrtle rust on a Ramarama, and I can remember the day, April the 19th, 2018. So it's nearly three years to the date. So in three years, we've got to the situation we have here with the Ramarama. Do you feel quite helpless about this, Kurt Flipper? If I'm truthful, yes, because um, I don't see a, a, a national response. Um, and trying to maintain a, a positive demeanour gets pretty hard when, when I've seen, you know, witness this, what's happened here pretty much by myself. One of the solutions we've come up with is um, going to try um, making Karnaka extracts out of the leaves to spray on some of the, some of the native myrtles to test its eff efficacy at slowing down or even hopefully stopping the level of um, infection in some of our native myrtles. But um, just trying to keep our, our, our communities engaged and all positive about this. Um, trying to find some ways we can, the community can play a part. So a load shared is a load halved. So yeah, 